Where's my favorite student? Jesse, I see you signed up for another one of my classes. Of course, Professor B, you're my favorite teacher. You know something? You truly are what every teacher should aspire to be. That's 10 extra credit points on your next test. Hmm. Well, that's so nice of you, Professor B. By the way, how's your lovely wife and the kids? Johnny just turned seven and Kaylee is five years old now, right? <sighs> yes, they are. And they're doing great. You know what? Make it 20 points because it's you. You're the man, Professor B. <laughs> Such a good young man. Mmm. 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 Hey, everyone. So this is the start of a new semester, spring 2022. It's gonna be a good one. I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay, so this semester I am going to be taking computer organization and programming languages. Let's take a look at the syllabus for computer organization. The objective of this course is to study how a computer is organized and implemented in terms of electronic devices. We will start with the higher levels of abstraction and work down through the implementations of major components of a modern computer system to the underlying logical components. Fun! The learning outcomes for the course are to translate a program from a high order language to machine and assembly language. Ugh. Convert data between high level representation and binary. Analyze and understand the von Neumann execution cycle. Analyze and design a combinational digital circuit and some other circuit stuff. Cool. Okay, let's get to the important stuff. Let's see if I can slack off this semester or not. Just kidding. Don't slack off. Okay, so it looks like I'll have to read a chapter every week, watch lectures that cover the chapter slides. We have weekly quizzes, weekly homework, weekly discussions, weekly assignments labs throughout the semester, a midterm, a discussion about the midterm, and a final exam. Okay, so in other words, I have to temporarily separate from my wife, I can't binge watch Netflix, I won't have time to work out as much, my weekends are gone, and I'll age about three years. Kozlo, dog park visits might have to go down, baby. Never mind. Dog park visits will increase. Okay, let's start by watching this chapter one lecture. Game face. Level six is high level languages like C and Java, which a compiler translates. The central processing unit is where oh. instructions are fetched and executed. Someone put me out of my the misery. The memory system is where programs and- Wait. I mentioned my YouTube channel and my introduction discussion board for this class. And my teacher messaged me that he subscribed to my channel. Should I roast this lecture and include it in my video or not? Mercy is for the weak. No mercy. I am very pleased that my new computer has a new solid state drive. It is screaming fast. <laughs> However, magnetic... That's what she said. It is called ASCII. Ask stands what? Stands for American Stan... Ask what? Phetic characters in a computer. It is called ASCII. Oh, ASCII. <laughs> With daily, or even hourly. And though I was around before cell phones, I too keep my iPhone near me all day long. and to manage all of the input-output devices. It can multitask. Can you? Barely. There are many parameters that are not... So we will plunge down into the lower levels and leave the familiar level 7 behind. Hang on for the ride. Oh, I'll hang on, all right. 
Okay, now that this compelling video lecture is over, let's read chapter one. All right, let's check out our syllabus for programming languages. So the goal of this course is to introduce the major principles and concepts underlying all programming languages without concentrating on one language. The emphasis is on evaluating alternative ways of providing various programming language features and studying the trade-offs involved. We will use C, Java, C++, Fortran, Pascal, Ada, COBOL, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one right, Scheme, Prolog, Perl, Python, Ruby, and F Sharp. Never heard of F Sharp before. So we're gonna use these languages to illustrate programming language concepts covered in the course. The discussion is about the important issues in the specification, design, and implementation of programming languages. Upon completion of this course, students will learn some fundamental principles and concepts of modern programming languages, have an overview of several different paradigms of programming, learn about specific features of different programming languages, and gain some programming experience in a selected set of languages. Okay, so let's skip on to the good stuff or the bad stuff, depending on how you look at it. Aha. The course is organized around the following pattern. You read the assigned chapter in the textbook. You read the PowerPoint slides corresponding to the chapter. You take an online open book quiz on the chapter. You do a homework assignment for the chapter, submitting your an answers through Canvas. Hmm, okay. Not so bad so far. Okay, so we have three assignments that are given in the course. The first assignment is given after chapters three and four and contains no programming parts. Assignments two and three are programming assignments with an analysis portion. The second assignment will be given as a Java problem, while the third assignment will be a related problem given as a scheme problem. Problem here does not mean the assignment is specific to these languages, but that your solution must be implemented in these languages. You are not expected to know scheme going into this course. The basics will be covered and it will be enough to write a solution. So I get to have somewhat of a life. Uh, let's go to my list of what I would have had to sacrifice so that one of those items could rise back from the dead. A loving relationship with my wife, binge watching Netflix shows, working out regularly, or having some time on the weekend. Mmm, it's a tough decision. Okay, of course, I get to binge watch Netflix. Just kidding, just kidding. My wife comes first.
So the first week of class is typically a lot more laid back. It's really just getting a better understanding of what's expected from each course, getting the required books, and I actually start building a, a time management schedule based on when quizzes, homework, and assignments are due. I'll continue to keep you posted as I progress through these courses. I'll share with you key topics, challenges, what to expect, all that good stuff. And that about wraps it up for this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe. And please check out my other videos where I share some more advice, helpful resources, tips and tricks. I've got a lot more content headed your way and I'll see you guys in the next video.